Six, a U.S. Senator from Georgia now demanding action on mail theft problems in the metro. And this comes after a CBS 46 investigation exposed multiple reports of check washing and missing mail at a local post office. Senator Raphael Warnock just sent this letter to the head of the U.S. Postal Inspection Service asking him to investigate our findings and provide a full briefing of his work to address these problems. CBS 46 investigator Rachel Polanski joins us now after just talking with the Senator Rachel. Senator Warnock tells me he was extremely concerned by what we uncovered and the lack of response we were getting from those in charge. That's why he fired off this letter demanding action. These are just some of the 20 mail related reports filed with Duluth police over the last seven months, all detailing problems at the Duluth post office, ranging from missing mail to check washing. I was like, well, I'm passing right by the post office. I'll just stop and drop it off so I don't have to worry about forgetting it tomorrow. Well, that ended up being a big mistake. <laughs> Angie Eze dropped two checks inside this blue box right outside the Duluth post office, and both were altered. The names and the amounts changed. A $73 check rewritten to $2,000, and a $24 check changed to $1,165. Both were cashed. It was really shocking that because it felt really bold to me. Oh, they didn't receive it yet? Pamela Campori also filed a report with Duluth PD after her passport and visa were stolen from this envelope, which she sent priority and dropped off inside the Duluth post office, trying to renew her travel documents. That is the last time I'm not going to send nothing via post office. Senator Warnock detailed these experiences in his letter to Chief Postal Inspector Gary Barksdale, and I spoke to him about that from his office in D.C. I think transparency is so important, which is why I wrote the letter uh, to the Chief Postal Inspector, and um, I think uh, at the local level, we need transparency. Warnock also asked Barksdale to respond to a number of questions, including... What steps is USPS taking to prevent mail theft and check washing going forward? They're similar to the questions I tried to ask Greater Atlanta Postmaster Falanda Woods. I've been trying to get in touch with you for quite some time to talk about the problems at the Duluth Post Office. Do you have a couple I have of minutes? No comments about that. Who did not want to talk with me? Taxpayers support yeah, the right Postal right. Service. Yes, ma'am. Your agency works under the federal government. Again, I don't have any responses for that. I also asked the senator about that interaction. They work for uh, the people of Georgia. They work for the American people. We ought to be able to reasonably expect uh, that we'll get uh, clear information about something as, as serious as people's documents. The senator sent that letter to the chief postal inspector within the last hour. Of course, I'll be following up to get his response. Meanwhile, this is not the first time Warnock has spoken out about the post office. Earlier this year, his vote helped pass the Postal Service Reform Act, which aims to improve accountability from USPS. Rachel Polanski, CBS 46 News.